Now, Republican politicians continue to push uh, what they call clean coal technology. Now, um, of course, as I'm going to explain, that actually isn't a real thing. It actually doesn't exist. Uh, but it's a nice little lie that uh, Republicans and people like Donald Trump love to tell coal miners. Now, he has shown himself, Trump has, to be a friend of the coal companies. Now, again, I don't mean the coal miners. He is not a friend of the coal miners, but he's a friend of the coal companies. Now, that's a very important distinction, and I think it's important to show uh, to point out. Now, a lot of conservatives and some red state Democrats, <clears throat> Joe Manchin, uh, think that we can do this clean coal, or uh, actually what it's called as uh, carbon capture and sequestration. Now, they think we can do that so we can cut down emissions so we can save uh, coal jobs. Okay, hey, it looks sounds great. Makes moderate happy, uh, moderates happy. Oh, hey, look at that. We saved the environment. Uh, and we save coal jobs, mission accomplished, uh, CCS, man, carbon uh, sequestration. We love it, except that there's one problem with it. It's a fantasy. It, it's not, it doesn't exist. It's, it's like a unicorn. It's not actually real. And all the attempts at it have so far completely failed because it is an expensive boondoggle. Now, this isn't me saying this, right? This is actually somebody that's saying it that's actually a major player in the coal industry. Now, uh, this is CEO uh, Robert Murray. Now, he is the uh, uh, owner of Murray Energy. Okay. Now, Murray Energy, if you're not familiar, is actually the country's largest privately held coal mining company. Now, Murray is also a prolific donor to uh, Republicans uh, as well as Joe Manchin. Again, I got to bring this guy into it. Uh, now, he recently sat down with e, &E News, uh, and they talked about this clean coal technology. And he said simply, quote, carbon capture and sequestration does not work. It's a pseudonym for no coal. Now, again, those of you might be confused about what CCS is. Uh, basically, it's the process of trapping carbon dioxide from a power plant during or after burning something like coal, uh, and then storing it permanently underground, usually underground. There are other places that they could probably try to store it, but mostly they try to put it underground. Okay, we're going to take this coal, uh, and, and we're going to burn it, and we're going to take the carbon so that it doesn't go in the atmosphere, and we're going to shove it in the ground. It's usually not a good idea, at least in my opinion, that's not a good idea. Now, this process, the way that they're trying to do this has been described as both challenging and expensive. Now, especially since we're in the middle of a natural gas boom, and also oil is incredibly cheap. So why spend a bunch of money coming up with the technology, because again, it doesn't exist, then attaching it to power plants at considerable cost, or having to redesign or completely build new power plants that have this technology inside of them, uh, just to trap, you know, uh, uh, carbon from coal when you could just go someplace cheaper. For example, wind power is now cheaper than coal. Natural gas is also cheaper than coal. So it would make no sense to do this. No business sense. And that's actually what the CEO of Murray Energy is saying. It makes no practical sense to do any of this. So clean coal doesn't exist so like and look they tried this in mississippi okay it's not like they haven't been working towards this technology they actually tried it mississippi now mississippi said okay dude we're not going to do this anymore because we spent billions of dollars and it still doesn't work so why would we spend more money you know how much they wasted by the way they wasted 7.5 billion dollars that is a boondoggle they have taken this pile of money, this $7.5 billion, and they essentially lit it on fire. They burned it. Gone. Now, Murray had more to say. He said that this is, quote, neither practical nor economic carbon capture and sequestration. Again, th that's fairly clear. It's neither practical nor economic. So why do it? Why continue to push this clean coal? Well, he has an idea of some of the politicians or why some of the politicians are actually trying to push this so-called technology. 
He said, it's just cover for the politicians, both Republicans and Democrats, that say, look at what I did for coal, knowing all the time that it doesn't help coal at all. And you know one of those politicians, by the way, again, Joe Manchin. I'm looking at you. Because he's one of the biggest Democratic beneficiaries of coal industry money. And of course, you have the Republicans. On the Republican side, you have, I think one of the biggest is Mitch McConnell in Kentucky. Now, those two people, those two politicians, well, they're lying to their constituents about coal. And we know also that Donald Trump has been lying to coal miners. Oh, we're going to put you back to work. We're going to reopen the coal mines. And Murray's saying, why would we do that? That makes no economic sense. No, we're a corporation. We're in it to make money. We're not going to open the mines if nobody wants coal. That's stupid. And we're not going to do it. Again, not practical or economic. Especially when we would do CCS. Again, doesn't make sense. No, see, coal is a dying industry. It's dead. Okay, to paraphrase, uh, borrow a, a phrase from Donald Trump. It's dead. It's dead. It's in death spiral. It's dead. Now, look, how about instead of bullshitting the miners who risk their lives, how about instead uh, we give them better opportunities and in, 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 in better uh, job, you know, better fields, maybe jobs with high pay and high benefits. Because look, I'm pretty sure if there was a solar plant or something that moved in to West Virginia, for example, and they offered better pay and benefits than the coal mines, you think people are going to stay in the coal mines? No, of course not. They're going to go where the better jobs are, the better pay and better benefits. Maybe you should give people in Appalachia better options than just working coal. Because if, again, coal is a dying industry and we need to help the people that are working in the coal mines. We don't need to be demonizing the people, the corporations, absolutely. But the people working in the coal mines, they do need help. And they do need better opportunity. Because look, you got to look at it this way, right? Here's a guy who is a member of the American Coalition for Clean Coal Energy, right? Who has been saying that, or who has spent tens of millions of dollars saying that, oh man, clean coal, it's awesome, uh, it's totally doable, it's cheap, it's going to be great, it's going to save the coal industry. Now he's coming out and saying, that's actually bu absolutely bullshit. If that guy's coming out there and saying that, then maybe you should actually listen. Hey everybody, thanks for watching this video. If you want to see more like this, please hit the subscribe button below. And if you want to support truly independent progressive media, please consider becoming a patron at patreon.com slash TYT Nation.